Do you have a Kato Warriors that have been destroyed in battle? Maybe a one-of-a-kind exclusive that's seen better days? Or perhaps a warrior that never had the opportunity to fight at all? Today, I'm going to show you how to fix your broken Akato Warriors and even your broken battle arena. Before we start the video, hit that like and subscribe button or Stormstrike and Lord Shifta are going in the fish tank. The first problem we'll be taking a look at is a loose or dislodged head. The head is held in place with a tiny metal pin. The pin is scored on the bottom and smoothed towards the top. In extreme cases where the pin cannot be pressed back into place, super glue will be needed. The trick is to use a toothpick to apply glue only to the inside of the hole. You do not want super glue to get anywhere near the smooth portion of the pin or the head. After applying the super glue, press the pin back into place. Swivel the head back and forth several times to ensure proper movement. Now that the glue has dried, let's test out our repairs. He's ready for combat. A broken arm can sideline a warrior just as fast as a broken head, and unsurprisingly, that swinging action is created the same way with the same pin. And that's where the similarities end. While the head is fairly easy to repair, the arm is extremely difficult because of the awkward angles and limited working space. Rather than throwing my Turbo Chucks Lee away, I'll attempt to fix him by doing something that might seem a little strange. I'm going to use this 1.8 millimeter drill bit to enlarge the hole in the arm. Now, I'll use a toothpick to apply super glue to the inside of the hole the same way we did for the head. Make sure the arm isn't pressed too tight against the body. A little gap will ensure for a proper swing. And now that the glue has dried, let's test him out. Another warrior ready for combat. Have you ever gotten a warrior fresh out of the pack that did this? Well, we have. It's a wheat. Oh yeah, his head, let me see. Holy smokes, guys, look at this glitch blade we just got. This is an extremely rare defect because it's the only one we've ever gotten. Our glitch blade is not only missing his inner chest plate, he's missing the piece that holds his head in place. In order to make this repair, you'll need to sacrifice another warrior. Luckily, we have spare parts. First, we need to remove this plate. It pries off easily with a small flat screwdriver. Underneath, we find the piece we're looking for. This is what holds the head in place and it also allows the head to snap back with a little pressure. It'll stay in place without glue or the chest plate, so this repair is complete. Let's test him out. He is combat approved. Does your battle arena sound like this? If it does, that tells me there have been a lot of fierce battles in that arena. I'll show you how to fix this problem and make it stronger so it won't break again. The first thing you need to do is flip over the arena and locate the four screws on the bottom of the controller. Next, remove all four screws. Now you can remove the controller cover by lifting the back straight up. Remove the spring and place it on the side. Carefully remove the spinner and slider because most likely you're going to find this broken off piece floating around in here. This peg is what the spinner sits on and allows it to rotate. We're not only going to glue the peg back on, we'll embed this piece of paper clip inside to give it some strength. Drill out a hole for the wire to sit in on the controller and the broken peg. Add a small amount of super glue to the controller and place the wire inside. Make sure you get as much super glue into the hole as possible. Next, apply super glue to the top of the wire and slide the peg on. 
Try not to have the wire sticking past the peg like I do here. Otherwise, you'll have to file it down flush with the peg. Carefully remove any excess glue. While you're waiting for the glue to dry, pet your dog. After the glue is completely dry, we can reassemble the arena. Place the slider back on and push it all the way forward. Place the spinner on the peg, making sure it's in the correct position. Compare it to another controller if needed. Return the spring to the back of the slider. Now you can replace the controller cover front first, making sure you lock it in position. Before you close the controller, you'll need to push in the spring. Now you're ready to replace the four screws. The only thing left to do is test it out. Perfect! Thank you so much for watching. If you like Akato Warriors, then split strike that subscribe button and we will see you in the next video.